Hi everyone, welcome to In His Love. My name is Fedita. How is everybody doing? Good, good, good. But well, we bless God for another beautiful day. So today, um, the other day I was just thinking, you know, remembering some stuff, you know, that we, we do when we go to church, right? That we say some repetition kind of words that he taught us to say, you know, um, and I, and this one came into my mind. Offering time, blessing time. Offering time, blessing time. But you know what? Think about it. Offering time, blessing time. So is it only when it's time for offering that I, I will be blessed? And you know what they mean when they mean by offering time? It means time to give money. Time to give out your money. That's blessing time. Scam. Scam, scam, scam. Scam, scam, scam. Think about it. offering time, blessing time. So if it's not offering time, I, I can't be blessed. So the whole service of two hours or more, that little five minutes or, or five to ten or however long minutes out of the whole two hour service, that's the blessing time for me and god forbid if i miss it or you know i go to the restroom at that period and, and miss that time oh my gosh so my whole um leaving the house and going to service for that day i won't get any blessing offering time blessing time is a huge scam is a scam and i'll tell you why I'll tell you why. But before I do, uh, there are some other things they say to the, they'll tell you uh, if, if you are not a giver, you cannot prosper. If you are not a giver, you cannot prosper. Remember, the giving they are talking about is money, money. So if you are not a giver, you cannot prosper. Really? What about those in the, you know, that are not believers, that are prospering beautifully? They don't give offering to any church or any uh, 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 ministry, but they are prospering. Some of them don't even give offering to the work of God because they don't believe in the first place. They are, you know, but they are prospering. So, telling me that if you if you are not a giver, you cannot prosper. That's a scam. That's just that's that's just the way of. Um, manipulating my mind to think that it's that giving of money that makes me prosper no your prosperity has nothing to do with you giving out money they even go further and tell you things like giving is a spiritual transaction really how think about it though spiritual that means not physical things of the spirit the uh the spirit realm not carnal not physical not uh touchable so how is my cash my physical cash becomes a transaction in the spirit realm scam think about it guys it's a scam it's all manipulation manipulation for you to drop that money manipulation for for th that they use to suck you dry of your hard end money. Am I saying that you 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 cannot you should or cannot give to, to the church? No, you give to the work of God, but your giving is not you're not doing it because it's your blessing time. No, you're doing it out of love, you're doing it because you want to help, you're doing it because you want to give, you know. Just for giving sake, not because it's your blessing time. Why? Because you're already blessed. Yes, you are already blessed. You and I, all of us walking on the surface of the earth, are already blessed. How? Because Genesis 1, 26, Genesis 1, 26 tells us that. God tells us that. And let's let's go ahead and read it. 
Okay, 120, 128, I'm sorry. But from 126, you know, God, you know, said, let us make man in our own image and our, our likeness, you know, and um, let him have dominion and all of that stuff, right? And he went further and, and God made man, of course, made them male and female and all of that. In verse 28, he went, God went further and the scripture told us that then God blessed them then god blessed them so you are already blessed so which offering time blessing time becomes you know which offering time becomes your blessing time some will tell you that oh you don't go to a man of god empty-handed freely you receive freely you give that's what jesus told us that's what jesus told his disciples freely you receive you too freely give has nothing to do with your cash, has nothing to do with your money. Now, if you want to just bless that man of God, you want to, you know, be, just to say, you know, just, just to bless the person, you can, you can, if you want, if you want to, it's not, it's not a, there's, there's no transaction there. there you, your money, your physical money, your paper made from wood, gotten from wood carved by the hands of man, man, like you and I, with the initiative of man, can never, and I repeat, never, ever be a spiritual transaction for anything, for your blessing to come to you. No, because you're already blessed. Genesis 1, 28, and God blessed them. Then God blessed them. After he created um, uh, a man, male and female. He, remember, he created a male and female. So it's not like the man is blessed, uh, the woman is not blessed. Mm -mm. He specified it. Male and female, verse 26. And then verse 20, 28, and God blessed them. What was the blessing? You see, before I go, before I go into the blessing that God blessed them, let me just pause a little bit and talk about the, a loving father in God that we have. A father. Think about it, no, though. Some of us that have or, or, or have or had awesome fathers, we remember when we want something, we go ask our father. Our father gives to us. Even the Bible says, will you ask your father for fish and he gives you snake? No, he will give you fish. So how much more even your er earthly father knows enough to give you what you ask for? How much more your heavenly father in heaven? God is such a loving, awesome father that will not create any human being on earth and leave them empty and leave them without destiny and leave them without a purpose. And just leave them, uh, uh, what's the word, um, not having any skills or leave them, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for, you know, leave them without any um, um, gift. Yes, gift. No, God bless each and every one of us. You may not know what your blessed, you know, what your gift is what your skills are some skills you you have to, you you may need to go um develop it you know on your own with training and all of that you know some some are inside of you you just got to find it prayerfully and and get it out and start using them so none of us are, are giftless none of us are uh, just walking on the surface of, of the earth without any without any uh, destiny. Like, you know, people, uh, Christians go up and down, do all kind of things, you know, pray all kind of prayers. God, change my destiny. What Change what destiny? You're already blessed. You are already blessed. That's what the, God said. That's what the scripture said. So let's even read that scripture. Genesis 1 to uh, 28. Then God blessed them. Who? Man and woman. He blessed them. Saying, this is the blessing he used that he blessed them with. Prosper. Reproduce. 
fill the earth, take charge, have dominion over the fish of the earth, uh, of the of the, the sky, the bird. I mean, the fish of the sea. Sorry, the birds of the sky, and every living thing that moves upon the earth. Prosper. Reproduce, fill the earth, take charge, have dominion. That was the blessing God blessed us with. Yeah, so you are already blessed. You have to know it. You have to believe. You see, the word of God is not just to quote it. It's not just to say it, you know, say it. I, I repeat it, I say it. Well, you can say it and say it till it sinks into you. Whatever you have to do to have it sink into you. You believe in that word. But the word of God is of believing what it says. Just believe in it, in it. And go out and do what you got to do. Believe in that word. And prosperity suffered, you know, happens. Uh, 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 taking charge, having dominion. Every, you see things begin to fall in place. Because you believe and you go out and you walk because you believe you venture to do this try that try this you know Ecclesiastes said uh try this thing i try that I, I i do this walk i do that walk you know because i never know which one will click you know we are we are we are multi uh talented human beings every one of us i'm telling you every one of us But we have to we have to exercise this blessing by 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 doing it you know by using it we have to exercise the blessing of god upon our life already we are already blessed we are already blessed okay so we have to exercise these blessings we have to use them some of you know we might have to get some more training you know we might have to go back to school or something you know whatever you have to do but if you don't do the work, it will look as if you are not blessed. It will look as if you are struggling. Struggling is, is good. There's nothing wrong with struggling. But it will look as if you, you know, you to look as if you can't make ends meet or, or you are giftless. Nobody is giftless. Nobody that God Almighty created in his image and his likeness is, is giftless. We are all gifted. We are all blessed. And God blessed them after he made man and, 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 and male and female. After he made humans. And God blessed them. So offering time, blessing time is a scam. Um, what's the other one? Your giving is a spiritual transaction scam. You know, if you don't give, you can never prosper. Scam. Scam, scam, scam. So, when you give, I mean, why, why, do, you, why do you give? The only why of your giving is not because it's your blessing time. We've, we've established that, we've explained that. The why of your giving is because you want to help someone. It's because you, you, you know... You want to be a, a blessing. You want to give either from your abundance, either from the little you have, but you want to do it. Just because. Not because it's your blessing time. You're already blessed. You're already blessed. So remember that if you if you don't um if we don't gain anything out of this today, remember that you are already blessed. There's nothing else that you have to do with your money that will make you blessed you're already blessed and i'm and i'm specifically talking about in the church now in the church in this uh prosperity churches gatherings i don't even know if to call call them churches <laughs> prosperity gatherings you know so there's there's not you you don't there's no there's no your your physical money can never be a spiritual transaction so yeah so you give you know because you want to be a blessing 
you know, you, your giving is without, without any motive behind it. Yeah, without any motive. Because remember, we were supposed to be selfless. Christ gave. What did Christ give? What did even God gave? God gave his only begotten son. God didn't give us money, cash. He gave his only begotten son. He gave something that cannot be uh, that cannot be quantified. He gave something that is bigger and greater than money. That's the kind of giving we should be um, thinking about. Giving, in, you know, as Christians. You know, it's not, it's not only money. There are so many ways to give. You can give your time. You can give your love and care. You know, you can, you, you, you can give your love and care for those that are sick around you. You know, you, uh, you nurse them, take care of them, the homeless, the orphans, the widows. So, so many ways. There are so many ways you can give. Your words of encouragement is a giving. It's a giving. So, you know, uh, Proverbs, Proverbs 16, 24 tells us kind words are like honeycomb to the soul, to the ear, to the ears, to the one that hears it. You know, it's, it sweetens the soul and it's health to, to the bones. Kind words. So if you're the type that, you know, you, you, you always, you encourage someone, well, that's your gift right there. Use it. A lot of people need words, kind words of encouragement. A lot of, a lot of people are, 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 are broken, you know, with words. A lot of, a lot of people have lost uh, self-esteem, you know, from however their background or, you know, whatever happened in their life. And they are broken. And here you are. You have kind words. You are the type that would just say something and, and someone is someone is lifted. Use it. Keep using it. Proverbs 17 also as uh, 22. 22 says, a merry heart, do it good like medicine. So you're the one that makes someone you 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 you're 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 able to make someone happy. Concentrate on doing that. You are giving when you do that. You're giving, volunteer in your community, do volunteer works. That is giving. That's the kind of giving Christ is talking about, not your cash that the pastors tell you day and night to give in order to get your blessing. It is a scam. It's a scam. So we have a father in God, all of us. God is is not wicked our father in heaven is not a wicked god he loves us so much and you know he brought us to this earth himself he made us he formed us in his image in his likeness so we can represent him we can be like him and you think he'll be so careless not to leave you equipped so we are all blessed we are we have all been equipped Remember, um, I can't remember in the scripture now, it says, in your, right, even from your mother's womb, I knew you, I formed you. So, before you were even conceived, God knows, you know, he, 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 had, he had planned everything already. Your destiny has been planned and in his hand. So, nobody owns your destiny. Nobody, no, nobody can, you know, take it away from you either. So, um, my dears, we need to know these things, not just read them, not just quote them or, or say them. We need to know it, know it so much that it becomes part of us. We remember it. So when, when you go out, when you go to church, this, this so-called church is there. And they, um, they begin to tell you things that think, please think, please think. So you're, you're giving at the end of this uh, whole thing, your giving has nothing to do with you being blessed. Why? 
because you are already blessed. Genesis 1.28, you're already blessed. You're already blessed. So just go in that mentality. I'm blessed. You know, you go to your work. I'm already blessed. So yes, I can do this. I'm, you know, you're, you're taking that courses or training or whatever. I'm already blessed. I can do this, you know, with that mentality of I can and knowing that I am already, already blessed. There's nothing that you cannot do. There's nothing. There's no height you cannot get to. You cannot scale to with hard work. So thank you all for listening. Um, if you like the video, please um, like it, share, subscribe to my channel so you get uh, new notifications when I upload. Um, God bless you and remain blessed. You are already blessed. You are already blessed. So offering time, blessing time, no, I am already blessed. <laughs> I don't need giving my giving cash to be blessed i do it because i want to not because that's how i'm going to be blessed why because i am already blessed you are already blessed said the lord of hosts bye